I feel like we're making really good progress here and at this point I'd like to talk about working with lexical labels in SCOS. We saw there are three labels, firstly the preferred label or pref label. When adding preferred labels to concepts or any other resource, we need to observe that there isn't more than one such label in a given language. We are also told SCOS pref label, alternative label and hidden label are pairwise disjoint properties, meaning for a resource, you can't have the same label with language tag appearing as both a preferred label and an alternative label, or a preferred label and a hidden label, or an alternative label and a hidden label. And then we are also told that the range of SCOS pref label is the class of RDF plain literals, meaning letters, numbers, and symbols. We then have alternative label, which is used to assign additional labels to resources. Typical examples are acronyms, abbreviations, spelling variants, and synonyms. Then there's hidden label, which is the third lexical label in the SCOS vocabulary. This label is used to capture labels that ought to be hidden by an application but made available for the purposes of search. Let's focus on preferred label. We already do have a few preferred labels populated in our SCOS graph like for flatware. I'm going to first illustrate the do's and don'ts. Something that's regarded as an inconsistency is doing this, where I'm giving a second preferred label, cutlery, in the English language, for the concept flatware. That's not allowed as we can only have one preferred label in a given language. Got it? Cool. So let's delete this bit of inconsistent information. However, this doesn't mean we can't have a second preferred label in a different language. For example, it's totally fine in this case to create a new preferred label, les couverts in French, that's allowed. In AL, language tags are two-letter lowercase abbreviations as listed in ISO 639 part 1, and we can see here that for French, that's lowercase fr. Another thing that would be deemed a mistake is if we added an alternative label which is the same as a preferred label, or vice versa, for a resource. Here, we have specified flatware in English as alternative label, and that's not good as we should only have one, either as SCOS pref label or as alternative label. And we're also not allowed to have the same label used as pref label and hidden label. So this here is not allowed. What's definitely possible though is to create cutlery in English as alternative label, like this. And also we can add a hidden label which depicts a common misspelling for flatware in English like this. Adding labels like the preferred and alternative labels is for me the point where we can start saying that a taxonomy morphs into a thesaurus. This is because we are taking the time to curate terms, add acronyms, maybe synonyms and so on, and effectively creating more lexical richness in our taxonomies.